95% accuracy. Wow, what an achievement. And sometimes it's even higher, 99% accuracy. Yeah, pretty much every paper I read nowadays got some really good accuracy on everything. And I think to myself, why the hell are we getting only 60 or 70% accuracy in our papers? Even working with collaborators who are really good in AI. Well, as soon as I read those papers and inspect the code, I find it. Data leakage. So today, I'm going to talk about where people screw up more often in their machine learning applications. Well, first things first, data leakage in machine learning is when information from outside the training data set is used to train a model. And this can happen in many ways and often leads to models that perform exceptionally well on training and validation data, but fails miserably when deployed in the real world even losing money or causing real trouble. And this leakage gives you the false impression that the model is working and you might even get your paper published if I'm not a reviewer. But when people use it, it can really lead to some bad outcome. So here's situation number one, pre-processing data before splitting. So this happens when data pre-processing, like uh, scaling or normalization or some feature selection is applied to the entire data set before it's split into training and test sets. For example, think about what happens when you normalize your data using mean and the standard deviation of the entire data set. If you do this before splitting the data, the test set, supposedly some unseen data, will influence the normalization process. And the consequence is that the model gets access to some information about the test set during training. And, uh, well, this will artificially pump the performance of your classifier. So remember this, split first, pre-process later. Um, second, future information leakage in time series data. So in models dealing with time series data, like a stock market prediction or weather forecasting, using future data at the time of training is data leakage. For example, if your future in your model has data points that come from future relative to the point in time being predicted, the model being trained with information does not have a real world scenario. It's like trying to predict the weather from yesterday. Of course you're gonna get it right, but it's wrong. And this is this type of leakage it's pretty hard to spot because it requires a very good understanding of the temporal relationship inside your data. So if you have temporal data, try to split things using a chronological order, all right? And here's point number three, incorrect data splits. And this kind of leakage can also happen if you split your data incorrectly. This is common in data sets where we have multiple copies of the same instance. For example, in medical data, if records of the same patient are present in both the training and in the test set, the model might be simply memorizing patient-specific information instead of actually learning the patterns that it can use to generalize later. So make sure you have no duplicated instances in your data set. And if you do, make sure that they are all in the training set or in the test set. Never, never in both at the same time. All right, and here is a bonus for you. Uh, one time I made this mistake myself. Uh, I wrote a program that created the variable X and Y. It's the standard in Python. But I forgot to remove <laughs> the response variable from X. So it was used as a feature in the training process. 
and of course the accuracy and the rock curve were 100% they were beautiful so I saw this and I got suspicious immediately and went back to the code and I found it I felt very stupid for this mistake and I don't want you to feel like that so this is why I added these poems check your code again all right so I think that's it for today remember your test set <laughs> I always say this to the students your test set it's like a, it's like diapers you use it once and you throw it away I don't want it to get too graphical here but if you use it twice well anyway thanks for watching subscribe hit the like button so you always get updates you always get news and you can keep moving in your machine learning career all right have a great day